Hi community, how are you? It's Spirit Guide. So hopefully everyone's having a beautiful day. Happy birthday, Leo. Sorry, I sort of about to fall. Happy birthday, Leo. I'm sorry I owe you a reading. Um, I kind of fell off for a little bit. <laughs> so uh, forgive me, okay? All right, so let's see the overall reading or the overall energy for Leo. So what's going to happen with this reading? It's going to be probably a 30-minute read, okay? So what's going to happen is I'm going to read the male Leo and then the female Leo. And at first, I'm going to start with your energy, your leading energy, okay? All right, so we all know that Leos can be particularly, uh, you know... Um, their Leos for some reason have a lot of hair. They always do. There's very thick hair, very full hair. The, the head is like a mane of an actual lion, which is their spirit animal is a lion. So that fits for Leo. Uh, Leos also are at times, they can be challenging, um, because they are stubborn. You know, Leos are very stubborn when they get something in their head, whether they believe it's, whether it's true or not, it is true, right? But that also makes a Leo very successful, okay? They don't waver on their own thoughts and how they feel, okay? Um, and also can challenge people around Leo because Leo will only tend to believe exactly what their mind tells them, okay? So it makes knowing a Leo very difficult, okay? Um, and reading a Leo is actually, um, it's a little easy because they... It's whatever they believe and whatever's in their mind, and it's easier to pick up on. Leos, when they fall in love, in love with you, they fall hard, okay? Leos are typically people, both male and female, that other signs report to be physically attractive, right? So we all know Pisces is actually the number one sign that people will always say are attractive, like physically. There's something about that Pisces, right? Um, Gemini, interestingly enough, is the only sign that can cripple a Pisces, believe it or not. I don't know what it is about that, that Gemini Pisces, you know, and, and it's not that Geminis are not attractive. Everybody knows when you meet a Gemini because they're very different, right? And I'm a Gemini, so we're very unique, right? Something about us. For some reason, with Pisces, Pisces can turn everybody else down, but Gemini, they have a hard time with. Uh, Leo is kind of like that when it comes to, Leo doesn't go with a particular sign. Um, Leo go, when they find love, Leo finds the person that compliments them the most, okay? So it's not like they're narcissistic. They just look for the person that's going to compliment them, either physically, make them laugh, make them always... Um, they always look for different. They want to change. Something has to be different for a Leo, okay? And Leos are very, very loyal, okay? Once they find the person that they love, they are extremely loyal. So that's how, sorry guys. So that's how we're going to go into this reading with that energy, knowing that about Leos. I'm going to go into Leo's first house and their second house. The first house deals with the identity, how Leos feel about themselves, okay? I'm going to go into some energy about that. Then I'll go into the second house, which is income, okay? And that's all I'm going to do for Leo. So each week, I'm going to come out with a read for a different sign. So it'll be the birthday sign, and then it will be another sign that comes with it. So I'm trying something different, okay? All right, so um, then I'm going to do in the same reading, it's going to be a long one, in the same reading, I'm going to do a reading on the male Leo and then the female Leo, okay? All right, so let's start by getting some energy for the Leos. All right, again, happy birthday, Leo. We're going into Virgo next, okay? And I will be on time with the Virgo birthday reading, I promise. <laughs> I've just been working like crazy. Bless, bless that I'm able to finally get back to work, but I've been really getting in there, getting them hours in. Okay, let's continue. I intuitively choose this one. Okay, a tall tale, Leo. So this is your energy, a tall tale. So when it says a tall tale, you know, we all think, you know, uh, misgivings, fabrications, you know, that kind of thing. When I see this tall tale, especially in this energy, uh, I'm going to get a second energy on this. This tells me that a Leo maybe, um, what do you call it? Not hovering. Um, 
protecting someone's feelings. Okay, they're protecting someone's feelings. A Leo is not telling someone in the energy what they really think of them. Um, so this might be a love reading. Okay, yeah, see, take a deep breath before you speak to them. Okay, so yeah, you're not you're not telling someone, Leo, the truth. Um, if a Leo is not telling the truth, intuitively, I'm getting you're doing it to spare their feelings, right? To spare their feelings. And this is someone that you love. OK, this is someone you love. So you're sparing their feelings and you're not. Um, hold on. So sorry. I just want to get really in there so you can see it. OK, you're sparing their feelings and you're not. Um, you're, you're making sure that they are not going to be um, hurt by anything. OK, so, Leo, you're not telling someone the truth, but you're doing it out of love. OK. That's all you're doing. You're doing it out of love. I can't see anything wrong with that. Um, but when you do, you will talk to them, Leo, with this card here, a deep breath. You will talk to them about whatever it is you're withholding. It's like it's not information. It's like going to harm them. But it's information like maybe their physical appearance, maybe how you felt about them, maybe how you um, maybe your feelings have changed to them. It's something before you reveal it to them. Take a deep breath. OK, take a deep breath, Leo, and really think if this information I'm getting intuitively, if this information is going to help or if it's just going to help or harm or if you're just trying to tell it to kind of get it out your spirit. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Like think Leo, before you tell this information, whatever it is, because remember, once you tell them the truth, the person is going to, I'm getting intuitively, they're going to come back to you with this because you've told a tall tale or a misgiving, even though it was to protect them, even though it was like to make them feel special, you have actively participated in this. So once you tell it, now they're going to question everything that you say. Be careful, Leo. See if, th if this is something, if this tall tale you can live with and this is not something that's going to harm them, then, you know, really think about what their needs are, not your needs, Leo. OK, um, Leo's, we all know, think about themselves a lot. Right. That's why Leo's tend to be successful. They're very um strategic. They're very, sometimes they can be cunning, but as humans, we can be cunning. Leos do very well in what I call office Olympics. That's what I call it. Uh, often like working in an office space because they understand how people are and they know how to navigate. Okay. But Leo, in this case, I'm getting whoever you're holding this, um, telling this tall tale to is someone that is a new romantic interest, right? Think of how you're going to break that to them if you decide to. And when you do, take a deep breath, okay? So that's the energy that you're currently in, Leo, okay? That's your energy that you're currently in for your birthday, okay? All right, so let me start going into, I'm going to do the Leo uh, female. I'll do the Leo, sorry, your birthday cake fell. There we go. I'm going to do the Leo female first, okay? All right. Um, let me see. Let me get some, uh, I don't like getting goddess energy on Leo or any signs because I don't have the male prince energy yet. I'm ordering it. I don't have it yet. Um, I just have their cards. So I don't like to, to do that. But so let's just get some overall tree magic, right? Some overall emotions here. Like what's going on with Leo? Okay, so this is the Leo Feminine. Okay, the Leo Feminine. All right. So we already know that there's a secret that you, something you're not telling. It's not even a secret. You're just not telling the truth about something. It's a misgiving. It's not going to harm them. It's it's something trivial, but the person that you're saying it to is not as familiar with you yet. It's a new relationship. They're not as familiar with you yet. Okay. All right. So let's see what else is out here for Leo. Is there something in this deck for Leo? Let's see. It may not be. All right. I intuitively choose this one. <laughs> Look what came up. Surprises. All right. This is the feminine, right? Feminine Leo. Surprises. Okay. So there already was a, something that you didn't tell the, the truth to. Take a deep breath. Bring it out. Guess what? Surprises will come, right? So it says hope, health. Well, you can read it yourself. 
Um, so basically with that surprise is it confirms that, yeah, you may be surprised as to what the outcome will be. OK, so you're you're kind of in limbo here with this this thing you're talking about over here. Right. I'll bring the energy back out. You're kind of in limbo about this. Right. You're in limbo about it. OK, but the energy, the overall energy is the surprise. Right. So it may not when you tell this secret, it may not be as much of a shock as you think it is. OK. All right. Let's go into Leo feminine, her first house. OK. Your first house deals with your physical, what you look like, how other people see you. OK. Um, Leo's, we know that they command attention and they also are bossy and they're confident. OK. So let's see. Right. The first one up for Leo Feminine is temperance, okay, which is patience to wait, okay? Be, you have to be a little bit more patient, right? You're very focused and and you're bossy and things like that, but you, you're being called to wait, right? You're being called to wait on something, right? So, yeah, let's see. Oop, here we go. Change is here. You're being asked to wait on something and change came out last the one in the middle is good money your money is growing you're moving into a different direction okay um you're being driven to to wait because your money is growing you're growing an empire you're you're actually progressing at this point leo okay feminine um here's the world right so change is here for you positive change things are going to positively if they have not started moving they're going to start moving positively in your direction you're going to start noticing people are more receptive to your ideas. You're going to also start to notice that people look for your ideas more. Yeah, Empress, blessed reading. There you go, Leo Feminine. Here you are. Okay, so you're a blessed reading. You're the Empress, right? You've, you've moved into this role, Leo, okay? And you've moved into it in this season of your birth. Um, every season that we are here on this earth and we celebrate our birthday, our human earth day, birthday, what begins to happen is each season is significant, okay? And if I pause a lot, guys, you notice my injury. I'm trying to get the words from my head <laughs> into the reading. Um, so yeah, so basically um, this season for the Leo feminine who's watching, this is your season, right? This is your season. That's why they're telling you to shed this lie, whatever this lie is, get rid of it, right? You're going to be surprised. You have surprises coming up. Here they are. Okay, you have blessings. Money is going to grow for you. Change is here in the positive. Okay, you're going to continue to be confident. You're going to continue to be dignified. Okay, but understand, Leo, you this is your season. This birth season, for those who found this reading, if you're a Leo, this is your season. Okay, the last three seasons I'm getting were not your season. You went through a lot of problems. You went through hardships, some of your Leos. Some Leos had to change environments. It was very difficult the last three seasons. And I think when I say season, I mean year, right? Um, the last three years was difficult for mankind, okay? We all struggled, okay? And if you did not um, heed the warning and stay home, and, and that was a time from divine for us, then guess what? Later down your timeline, boom, something happened and you had to take the time to yourself, okay? So divine made sure everybody had the time to readjust and for humanity to come back together. But Leo feminine, your time is here, okay? Your time is here. Be patient. Don't, it's not going to come right away, okay? But it is here, okay? Good luck, good luck. All right, ooh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, I will not take any of those because that was just a poor shuffle. A lot came out, okay? All right. All right, let me get uh, two more cards on the Leo and see what's going on, Leo Feminine. Good, Leo Feminine, so this is your time. Good. Yeah, the wheel. Good. Wheel of Fortune, it's positive. And I actually, I, I said that before it came out. Good, good. So change is here and it is positive. Good. That was a channel. Change is here and it's positive. Wheel of Fortune is in your, you know, it's, it's, it's in your favor. Okay. Um, I'm also getting intuitively because it's in your favor. Um, take everything very slowly. Um, I'm getting that you need to, uh, take everything slowly and really understand what's coming to you, right? Really understand how you, 
interact with the universe, okay? This is your time, okay? This is your time. Yeah, king of wands. You're also uh, feminine, but you're also very sought after, very sexy, right? And look who's in the background. Look, there you are, Leo, blessed reading. This is you, right? So you are, I'll put that on Knight of Pentacles. So you are a leader, right? And you're also very sexy, right? And you're the feminine. Um, but that's what a Leo, that's what the energy Leos give out. They're very, Leos and Geminis and Pisces are very sexual individuals, okay? So that's nothing new. That's just who you are, okay? All right, and let's move on to... The last card. Great, Leo. Great, great, great. You're doing a good job. All right. This is your season. Yep, there we go. It's your season, Leo. Confirmed, right? Star on temperance. So when you're waiting, you're going to be um, hoping and hopeful of things that are happening. Things are moving in your direction, Leo Feminine. They're moving in your direction. Okay? Be calm. Be patient. Be blessed. All right, Leo Masculine. Let's go. I will timestamp. <laughs> yeah, I'm filming it all in one take because, um, you know, that's my thing. I don't like doing edits. I tried edits for a few films and it wasn't working. Um, but I do also just in case I channel something else. And also it's to me, it's just like more. I try to give you the read as if you were coming to me. So this was this is basically what you would be doing. <laughs> Just sitting here watching me reorder everything and of course spraying my sage, but I'm not gonna spray it this time because I need all the energy to be um together. Because it's the same sign, just to male versus female, that's all. Okay, let's get up some energy. So we still have I'm sorry, I put the cards away the wrong ones. There we go. We still have the energy of the not telling the truth, right? That's still the same Leo energy, male or female, same thing, okay? All right, so let me get another tree magic. So the feminine was keeping a secret. Feminine was keeping a secret, okay? Um, well, so is male. And there was a surprise there. So let's see what's going to come out for the males. Sorry, that's the injured card. <laughs> okay. All righty. Can I get some energy for the Leo masculine, please? We're going to look at the Leo masculine second house. Okay, we're going to look at his second house. Um, I did see insight. Insight did fall out. Let's see. Eternal love. Okay, so we're looking at the Leo male's second house. Okay, so it says eternal love, right? So that's what the Leo male is focused on. He's focused on in eternal love, okay? He's focused on how does he make this work. Um, with the second house in money, right, income, um, this is someone who is per, uh, personally invested in earning money, right? So if there's some like eternal love here, this tale that is being kept and you're not telling the full secret could be a loved one. Like you could be in business with a loved one. You could be, you know, starting a business, finishing a business, merging a business with a loved one. Okay. Everything you're doing, a uh, Leo male has something to do with a loved one. Okay. So you may be keeping a secret Leo male from a loved one that has to do with your business, has to do with your money. Okay. The feminine, we looked at her identity. Now the masculine, we're looking at the money. Okay. All right. Let's continue. All righty. Here we go. Can I have some energy, please, on the Leo masculine? Oh. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, my goodness. Look what came up. King of Cups. Eternal love and King of Cups. Yeah, masculine. You're focused on love. All right. The Leo masculine. You're in love. You're in big time love, too. Good, good, good. Um, this is, I'm getting intuitively, this is a love that you've been seeking and waiting for. This is not a new relationship, okay? You may have started off as business partners. I don't know. That could be a channel. Yeah, look, son, you're happy. You're, you're ecstatic about this person that you were with. You are happy with your life, okay? You are happy with what is happening in your life. 
Okay, you're you're really uh, Leo male. Um, this is your season, your birthday season. Yeah, it's good for you. Okay, you have a little bit of sadness that's coming up here. Um, I'm getting the sadness is coming around this tail that you're keeping. <laughs> there's something masculine that you're really not telling. Okay, um, I don't get like there's a cheating situation. It could be. I don't get that. I get it's more of a this business is not working situation. Like you've been telling your, whoever your loved one is that you're in business with, you've been telling them things are working out and they're really not. That's what I'm getting strongly from this reading. The feminine, I don't know what she's keeping, but the masculine, that's what's keeping out. What's um, jumping out to me. Okay. So yeah, someone is keeping a secret about a business. Okay. Yeah. Two of cups. Yep. It's a, it's, you are in business masculine, uh, Leo masculine. You're in business with a, um, lover, with someone who you are in a relationship with. That's what you're doing. Okay. And, and that makes sense why you have a difficult time telling this person the truth about the business, about their role in the business. It's like intuitively I'm getting masculine that you, it's not that you don't, think the person, the business is good. You do. But whatever you're doing with this person in the business, you are not letting them know like they don't have the chops for the business. You understand? Like if it's a selling business, if you're selling cookies and, and different pastries, this person doesn't know how to do it. So it's affecting your bottom line. It's affecting your money coming in because people don't want to buy from your partner, from your loved one. They don't want to buy from them. Okay. So you, it, that's the secret and strongly that you're keeping. Oh, if it's not, I mean, Clearly, not everybody's selling cookies. You know what I'm saying? But it's something. You're personally invested in this business, and you really need to let that person know. Look at that. The wheel came right back around. Positive. Go and tell them, masculine. Tell this person who you are in business with, your love. Tell them what they need to hear. It's going to be okay. You're going to find out intuitively, probably, that your loved one didn't want to do this business anyway. They're okay with being a silent partner, all right? Just be very honest and say it with love, right? Say it with love. <laughs> you can tell the Leo reading all the same cards are coming out. Yeah. So again, you, you have hope. There's there's wishing there. You know, you really don't know how to approach it. it, it Leo male, I'm telling you, you're going to be okay. Tell the truth. You have to, Leo male, tell the truth. Your cards are coming out. You need to. Because you are, it's, it's affecting your bottom line okay it's affecting your bottom line which is your money okay yeah <laughs> leo you're out here again okay you don't have the strength right now you're in reverse right and that's the leo's face you're in reverse um both readings leo symbols came out blessed reading um you're not feeling confident about this probably because you went on with the lie too long it's okay let the person know you have to. This is affecting your bottom line, okay? All right, um, I think we're done with that. Let me just get a masculine card on it. You know, you always have to bring the masculine point of view in to see what's going on. And I'm going to just see what the masculine has to say. But masculine, you masculine, you don't want to, um, to say this to the Leo woman in your life. You really don't. <laughs> I mean, ooh, that was a channel. Are you seeing a Leo woman? Maybe it, well, that's the problem. I don't know. But you don't want to say this to the woman or the man, whatever, in your life, you, your partner. You don't want to say this to them, whatever this truth is, this lie. You don't want to tell them. But you have to. It's affecting your bottom line, bottom line. Okay, grasshopper spirit, right? Grasshopper spirit means like take a leap, take a, a chance, go out there and tell them what they need to know. Masculine, you don't have a choice. And I hate to sound like so harsh. You don't have a choice. You have to tell this person that you are in a relationship with that they, it's whatever this truth is, it's about the business. You got to approach it that way. It's about the business, okay? And you have to be honest that if this person is no longer around the business, they will have more time in the relationship and more time with things that they're going to do with you. Kind of do it that way, okay? But this is definitely business related for the um, Leo masculine. Definitely. Whatever the lie is, the mistruth, the misgiving, whatever you want to call it, whatever it is, it 100% has to do with business. So you have to let this person know. Leo feminine doesn't have to because whatever she's doing has nothing to do with money. Okay. 
All right, let me get you one blessing on this, please. So let's see what's going to come up. Uh, what else does the Leo masculine, what does he have to look out for in telling this this truth to this uh, other individual? Is there an energy, energy in here for the Leo masculine? Okay. Okay. It says the tribe. Okay. So basically it's confirming this person is in your tribe. This is someone that's close to you. You had three cards come up confirming that already, right? Three cards came out telling us that. So this person, you had two of cups here. You have the tribe here. You're upset with five of cups because you have to tell this person the truth. And this is the wheel. It's on your side. Luck is on your side. Don't worry about it. Okay. You don't feel strong about it. That's all right. Take a leap. Okay. Uh, masculine, you're going to have to do this. Okay. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this new reading. Let me know. Um, and I hope all the Leos, feminine and masculine Leos, just get out there and do what you need to do. It is the ending of your birthday month. Okay. Virgo, I will see you in a few weeks. Bye.